Okay. The uh, I, I started I started the Free American and I started the militias around the country because of what happened at Waco. And and what happened at Columbine is an extension on this. This is again the American people, our children being subjected to this. How many children were killed at Columbine? Actually, you want to count all of them? It'd be 15 of them. I include the killers. Yes. Because they were medicated. That wasn't their fault. Right. So, End of the story. 15 children there, 25 killed at Waco. And this is, this is why I started the show. Because because people like you and Mark couldn't get to the mainstream. They didn't want to talk to you. They didn't want to talk to you. No, they don't. And, and no, they don't. Folks, this is why I do the show. Now, now up on my website, freeamerican.com, you've got Wesley Hoyt's address. And, and you've been victimized, too, by, by people here, supposedly patriots, supposedly wanting to help you, putting up a Columbine family website. And, and, and I, I even referred that. I referred that. I referred people to this Columbine family's uh, website, to Mark Taylor's case, the information there. And how much, how much uh, money from donations there. I saw they had a donate page. How much money have you and Mark got from them? Nothing. And Don't it, know what's going on, but nothing. <clears throat> but yet, but yet, I go on a um, Dinar site and they put up our website and I get at least $1,100 donated, which I've already had to use, Clay. To get Mark home on an airplane and get his brother out there to pick him up on an airplane, and to get everything that Mark needed when he got back, um, they paid for his, his some of his meds and stuff, and, and uh, paid a couple of uh, paid an attorney for, for her paperwork there in Arizona, and um, there's nothing left. It's gone. The correct address. To send this to is up on my site. It's uh, you can uh, you can make a donation via the Wells Fargo account at five nine four four nine five one six four eight, or you can mail a check to the Columbine family for Mark Taylor, care of Wesley Hoyt, three 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 West Hamden Avenue, number seven ten, Englewood, Colorado eight zero one zero. Dash two three three two, and uh, we sure appreciate any help we can get right now. I'm, I've never been through such a trial in my life. If we can get through this and get well, we can help others. And uh, you know, we we are this this pharmaceutical industry is got to be the most corrupt corporations out there. They are making 25,000% or more, 50, up to 50,000% markup on, on the drugs that you're buying or that your Medicare is paying for. So so these pharmaceutical companies have got this whole thing set up to rip off the taxpayers, rip off the American people, and, and to keep people just drugged totally. That's right. That's right. Drugging babies, even infants. Let me, uh, let me share this with you folks so you understand you know the wars are just uh, the wars that they're talking about out there you know are just a pretext to geno destroy the genetic elite the natural leaders the patriots the idealists this is what they did to Bill Cooper and this is what they tried to do to me Clay Douglas 
From the day I took a test to get into OCS, someone somewhere has been trying to kill me or break me mentally, physically, or financially. None of the Illuminati-controlled patriot move, movement media, patriot media, will have me on their shows. And, and the same thing's true with Donna Taylor, because Donna Taylor's been on my show, because I've been trying to help her. Have you been on Republic? Have you been on Genesis? Have you been on Alex Jones? Have you been on John Stedmiller's show? No. Not Alex Jones. And don't, they, 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 they want to demonize me, and this is what we go through on the chat room. I've got three bouncers on the chat room to kick these people out that are, are, are hassling and trying to to uh, put me down, trying to get destroy any type of support that they have for me, because I am willing to help Donna. I am willing to, to uh, help Mark, and there's a lot more that we can do if we had the money to do it. Right. But what but do, when they break us... I don't, I'm not looking at big numbers of money. <clears throat> 10, 20, 15, 5. Anything to help. Well, I said they want to demonize me to get any support. And they've been successful so far in keeping me broke. This is starting to change. If, if if you will help, folks, if you can do that by ordering by our books, you can make donations, you can make a donation to Donna, and, and people have been doing that. That's why we were able to fly Mark up here, why we were able to send his brother down there, why Donna uh, has is able to get an apartment now where we can where she can take care of, and, and you've been taking care of Mark for 10 years. I believe you can do a lot better taking care of him than the Arizona medical system that has ripped off their money, folks. So Yeah, they trying to excuse me at being the rip off when it's them doing it. You know, folks, uh what I do with these shows is to try to help and inform the American people to the treachery and the ways of these elitist slave masters. Now let me give you a, let me in this email that I just sent out you know, how, how's one supposed to respond when you learn that more than two dozen pharmaceutical companies make over a billion dollars in profits each year? What's the appropriate word to use when you find out the top executive of the third largest health insurance company raked in $68.7 million in 2010? Is it okay to get angry when you discover that over 90% of all hospital bills contain gross overcharges? Now, once upon a time, Going into the medical profession was seen as a noble thing to do, but the healthcare industry in America has become one giant money making scam and is completely dominated by health insurance companies, pharmaceutical corporations, lawyers, and corporate fat cats. In America today, just one trip to the hospital can cost you tens of thousands of dollars, even if you do not stay for a single night. The sad thing is that a majority of the money you pay out for medical care doesn't even go to your doctor. Rather, the system that is soaking up, it is the system that is soaking up most of the profits. We have a health care industry in the United States that is fundamentally broken and needs to be, real, be rebuilt from the ground up. But, uh, but, 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 but wasn't that what Obamacare was supposed to do? No. In fact, Obamacare was largely written by representative from the health insurance company, uh, health insurance industry and the pharmaceutical in industry, once it was signed into law, the stocks of most health insurance companies went up. The truth is that Obamacare is one of the worst pieces of legislation in modern American history. It did nothing to fix our health problems. Rather, it just made all of our health problems much worse. In case you haven't noticed, health insurance companies all over the United States have announced they're going to raise premiums significantly under the new law. Of course, they're just using it as an excuse. They've been sticking it to us good for the last several de decades, and they just grab hold of whatever excuse they can find to justify the latest rate hike. If you're looking for a legal way to drain massive amounts of money out of the average Americans, just become a health care company executive. Health care has become the greatest money-making scam in the United States. When Americans are sick and have to go to the hospital, most of them aren't really thinking about how much it will cost. At that point, they're super vulnerable and ready to be exploited. It's almost unbelievable how much money these companies make. Health insurance companies are more profitable when they provide less health care. And they don't want you, they aren't out there to heal you, folks. They aren't out there to heal you. If they if they held you, if they kept you healthy, 
they wouldn't make as much money, would they? No. So, the system broken, everyone knows it, it never gets fixed. And I put out 25 shocking facts that the entire health and care industry is one giant money-making scam. The chairman of Aetna, the largest health insurance company in the United States, third largest, brought in a staggering $68.7 million during 2010. Ron Williams exercised stock options that are worth $50.3 million, and he raked in an additional $18.4 million in wages and other forms of compensation. The funny thing is that he left the company and didn't even work the whole year. One study found that approximately 41% of working age Americans either have medical bill problems or are currently paying off medical debt. And over the last decade, the number of Americans without health insurance has risen from about 38 million to about 52 million. One out of every four Californians under the age of 65 has absolutely no health insurance. Medical bills are a major factor in more than 60% of the personal bankruptcies in the United States. Approximately 75% of them involved individuals that actually did have health insurance. I mean, that is just, that is just uh, 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 astounding to me. That's, uh, that's amazing to me, Donna. Yeah. It amazes me, too. Yeah, if they kept us healthy, if they kept us, kept us healthy, they'd be they'd be out of business. And yeah. and folks, we've got I've got another video up. It's called uh, Zeitgeist 2011. I've got that up, and it talks about this whole system. We are in a society that is built upon planned obsolescence. It's built upon you getting sick. It's built, and, and, and they're doing their damnedest to make sure you get sick. They're altering the food, genetically modified foods, genetically modified animals. They want to chip your chickens. And I believe the reason they tried to kill me is because of my plan for Liberty Villages. In a Liberty Village, the care of what happened to Mark and Donna would be completely different. They would be provided a place to live, inexpensively. You know, they would have natural healers, doctors like Dr. Ann Tracy, who was on my show, who who know how to heal themselves naturally. She she cured herself of cancer by eating right. By eating right. Now the whole plan for Liberty Villages was to grow your own food. And, and on Zeitgeist, on the film that I've got here, it also talks about this whole corporate farm scheme. If they got to ship lettuce to you all the way across the country, you know, the cost of your lettuce, if you add in all of the gasoline that it takes to get to you, who's profiting? The gas companies, not the American people. We need to be more regional. We need to grow our own, our own food that your neighbor, you and your neighbors can eat. And, 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 you know, I want to open up a Liberty Villages to the veterans because they can protect it as well as mend the fences and milk the goats. And, uh, they don't want that. They're scared to death. That we are going to do this because this would take down this would take down their whole thing, their whole their whole scam. If we got together, work together, instead of instead of uh, sitting sitting around and and falling for this, they, they've got they've made you. You folks, they made you into literal slaves. Doesn't it feel like that, Donna? Oh, yeah. No doubt. It's... And it's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's not a pretty picture to go through. So, I think 
that if we decide to, to get organizations together like the Constitutionalists and the different people out there, we can make a difference. But if we sit down and do nothing, um, we're going to go through a worst nightmare you could ever imagine. All right, we're out of time. Donna Taylor, thank you. Tell Mark that there's a lot of people out here that care for him, that care about him, and I'm one of them. And any way I can help, any way we can get this information out. And, folks, if you're listening to this show, then pass it around. Pass it around. It'll be up there on an MP3 file uh, within an hour. It uh, uh, we can We can do this. And... and the idea of starting a Liberty Village, growing your own food, producing your own yeah. energy without the banksters is the way to go. See the Zeitgeist movie up on my website right now. Donna, thanks again, and you call me Thank anytime. You. you tell Mark when he feels like talking, just call me up and shoot the shit with me. I will. Thank you. All right. God bless Thank you. you. God bless you. And, folks, thanks for listening. Thank you. Call recording has been completed.